Hello, hello, and welcome once again. J76NY here, and we are sitting pier side at La Rochelle. U48 has not been uh, rearmed, refueled, or reprovisioned for our next war patrol. Um, I am going to go with the harder of the uh, war patrols up uh, just off the course of our uh, coast uh, up there. Um, this is episode number. 15 of season two uh, they are getting pretty close to releasing the update that will change quite a bit in u-boat uh, i'm not sure if the save is going to work after that or not um, so i'm going to get as much of season two in as i can before that releases or i feel like stopping playing u-boat for a little bit uh, whichever comes first um, probably I don't know, 25 to 30 episodes was what the first season was. So I'm going to get us rearmed, refueled, and uh, off on our next patrol. So sit back, relax, and enjoy episode number 15. So U-48 has their first contact of our patrol. It is a Norwegian ship. Um, post April 9th, 1940, we are at war with Norway. So it is fair game for this guy. And I don't think it's a C-3. Kind of a weird angle they're at, but, um... I think I'm gonna go with the Empire Tower. Uh, let's find their velocity. Or we could just go with 13. Yes, I did look it up. April 9th, 1940. Germany invaded Norway. So it's kind of nice not to uh, have to turn away from a potential target because they're neutral or supposed ally. 14 knots. say 2.9 kilometers that doesn't seem right does it a little bit higher technically I could pop up and hit him with the deck gun but yeah, it might be two two kilometers but like I said it's it's kind of a weird angle Uh, 118 the right Eighteen point five. good enough uh, we're going to launch and yeah, we'll launch too why not make sure it hits There's the Norwegian flag there. Alright, both tubes are away. Gonna come parallel to her. It's the only ship in the area, so there's no escorts. 
Nothing else. There you see our fish moving away. See what we can see here. Probably gonna miss. Oh, no, maybe not. 30 Sekunden. 20 Sekunden. Ten seconds to impact. Oh. Eh, hang on. Get a good view here. Camera's all wet now. Spaced out pretty good. Got one in the bow, one in the stern, and she is probably going to go down. Oh, there she goes. All right. Good job. Good job, U 48. SS Sanks Bithin. Treffer. Treffer. Ölnbruch. The sinking. There we go. Good job. Uh, we have any debris or anything we could uh, mess around with here? Well, up to the surface here. We got uh, some lifeboats that we can, you know, help out with. More than willing to do that. Captain's in bed. Ready. Compressor up. There we go. Two interactions. Lifeboat. Not seeing it though. We weren't that far away. They're too far away for some reason. I wonder if we could see them. Uh, yeah, I don't see them. That's all right. Continue on with our war patrol. Fairly good, uh, fairly good first attack here. Get that compressor working. All right, so U-48's going to continue on, and uh, hopefully we can come across something else. I think they overestimated the amount of shipping that was in that sector there is I did my 2500 miles and didn't see anything else other than that one ship which was uh very <laughs> very disappointing to say the least um so we have half a tank left so we're going to continue to uh hang oh, out here Kinda in this area. We'll uh Kurs auf diese Koordinaten setzen. Eh. Kurs auf we'll come over here setzen. like this on our way back to uh back to La Rochelle and see if we uh come up with anything here. It's now four o'clock in the morning of January sixth, nineteen forty one. Um, if we could get our 10,000 tons in uh, at random outside the patrol sector, then I guess it counts all the same, right? Uh, but <clears throat> we're going to stay in harm's way for a little bit and see if we can come up with uh, 
something before we go back to La Rochelle. Very disappointed. High probability of ships. And we've got a pretty sizable group here. I did see a uh, Portuguese vessel, but can't sink neutral ships, I guess. It's bad form. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven ships in this convoy. Set our course this way here. Yeah, what? Let me get that snorkel up. Get the snorkel up here. We are close. See if we can see any of them yet. Yeah. I think we've got some big ones here. There's one transport. Two transports, three transports. This one's probably a destroyer. A little far over the horizon there. <clears throat> yeah, that's a destroyer. I'll cancel the alarm for now. Not close enough to have you guys, uh... Right, we're gonna move in like this. <laughs> Excuse me. We're gonna move in like that, and uh, hopefully get a little closer to him. Let's unlock from this guy here. I think he's heading away from us. Let's see what else we can. Yeah, they're still pretty far away, so. And it looks like they're heading. Yeah, all right. So he is back there. Which isn't, he's not in a bad spot. Not gonna lie, not in a bad spot at all. Start locking, locking these guys in. For possibilities here. May very well go with uh, more than one strike. Oops, didn't want to do that. But there's one right behind him, too, and then one way out there. This one, he's out there. We're still pretty close. Send this out here. And find ourself. I did come to a stop. So it's uh, 2.7 miles to the first one. 3.4 to the second one. Oh, we didn't come to a stop. All right, well, that works too. Let's uh, let's identify these guys as best we can here. Uh, say it's uh, Empire. Empire Tower. I 
probably just go with the standard 12. But we can get official with it. Got a little bit of time here. I'm thinking these two ships are going to give us what we... I think we're kind of running alongside of them. It's going to be a fairly inaccurate reading. But we can find their distance. Nonetheless, go there. 12. Imagine that. It says he's eight miles out. This guy's obviously closer. Alright, we're gonna come to a stop here. Let's get our periscope down a little bit before they spot us. Yeah, that one wouldn't be bad either. Alright, so what I think I'm going to do is once this guy passes... Once his stern gets here, I'm going to fire on the second one. Then I'm going to quickly switch over and fire on, on him. Whether or not I could pull this off, that's that's another story. Um, but let's get back to the uh, periscope and identify identify that other ship and get all the info we need here. Distance. Five miles. Okay, let's set the course for both of these guys here. For what it's going to be. Keep this as close to zero nine zero as we can. Zero eight seven for him. Zero eight nine for the uh, for the second ship. I was tempted to fire on this one here. It would probably be within be in range. It'd just be hard to time it out. How far do we have in between seven hundred and twenty meters? That would be a hard shot to make. And I don't even think I can see the guy, so... Unless that's him way out there. No, I think that's him out there. Alright, so our first shot's gonna go on...
That's the destroyer. And him right there. Her, sorry. And then the second shot's gonna go for the closer of the two here. Uh let's get that scope down here. Raise it up when we're uh in a better position here. I don't know if I should flood my tubes or not. Maybe make sure that they are flooded, but I mean here's another pretty sizable target, so All right, so that's the plan. Once this ship gets, once the stern of this ship gets past the uh, dead ahead mark, I'm gonna fire on the second ship. I'm gonna let it get, let the torpedoes get. What did I say? It was 720, 740. All right, so 740 from us would be. Right about there. We'll just say right about there. And then fire on the, the uh, second ship. So the moment of truth is here, whether or not I can pull this off, I somehow have my doubts. Uh, this guy's Swedish. Um, that could be a problem, but a little late now, so I'm going to shoot him nonetheless. I'll deal with the consequences later. Let's get that. Then he was on a course of 8-1. So we'll do 8-1 angle on bow. Close enough. Rohr 1, bewässern. Rohr 2, bewässern. Hurry up. Rohr 1, bewässert. Rohr 2, fertig. Los! All right, fire them both. Unlock. Move on to our next Empire Bison. He's definitely British. Get the distance. Course is eight two. Set. It's three and four. Bewässern. Rohr vier. Bewässern. Actually, bump the speed up on these things a little bit if I can. Rohr drei. Bewässert. Rohr vier. Fertig. Oh, I don't want to do it that much. Los! All right. Anyway, <clears throat> do have to catch up to him a little bit. We didn't launch. Uh, little late here All right unlock let's get that scope down there we go now we do have a destroyer that is right out here I was gonna go through the convoy uh nope but we're going to actually reverse. Go full reverse. We have 
931 meters to work with. Drop down. Der Torpedo ist auf halbem Weg zum Ziel. Alright. 20 Meter. Alright. Oh my god, dogs. Der Torpedo ist auf halbem Weg zum Ziel. Okay. I think the dog issue has been solved. At least I hope so. Now, neither one of these torpedoes may hit. Let's turn around. Start booking. Hopefully this guy doesn't pick me up here. Trying to get rid of all these lines so you can see where the torpedoes are. Uh, first set's here. Second set. Second set actually looks pretty good. Uh, oh my god. Noises. Grr. They don't look bad. Like, here's the first set moving in on this guy. The further shot. And then... Here's the uh, second set. They actually look pretty good. This destroyer is making me a little nervous, but... Get down even further. May slow down a little bit. Yeah, if we get a hit on this guy first, I would be okay with that. This one is the uh, <laughs> the Swedish ship, so if we miss that one, then I never actually fired on it, and I'll take that to my grave. See what I mean? Noises, noises. I don't usually let it play out this much, but see how we're looking here. Oh, it's paused. No wonder they're not moving. Wow. Damn dogs, I'm telling you. This one looks good. Wow. Oh, it's been a long day. All right, there's a hit there. All right, we only had one hit. The other one is still... Why aren't you going down? Where I want you to go. I'm going to slow down a little bit. Alright, this one. Looks like the other. Oh, hey. Did we actually hit the other one? Yeah, we hit the other one too. No shit, and I missed it. We hit the. Uh, we hit both of them. Whether or not either one of them are gonna sink. That doesn't look like he's gonna sink. We only got one hit on on both these ships. He might. He's looking pretty rough. There he's... He doesn't seem to care, but... Come on, put yourself down. I'm gonna slow... Slow down. Empire Bison sunk. There she goes. And what about the other one? May not actually sink. Is this the one that I hit? I think it is. No, because that's a uh, not a Swedish flag. Where's the one I hit? 
It's not gonna tell me anything. It already sank. Might have already sunk. Two messages. Yeah, we sunk them both. Sweet. Alright, so now we gotta dodge the destroyers. We're going slow enough. And we're deep enough. And going right into the convoy. Oh, there's a destroyer coming from the other side, too. See what some of these other guys are. This may be worth coming back for a second strike. That's not British. Oops. That's not British. It's Swedish. We could have hit this one, too. The little guy. Everyone's on the watch. Looking out for us. We're in south, actually. Actually, yeah, turn south. What's the captain doing? Captain's not doing anything. He's just standing around. Alright, we're gonna continue on like this and see what we can do about uh hopefully getting away from these destroyers. Alright, they are launching depth charges, but I don't think they're anywhere near us. Can't see where they're uh, where they're coming from here. I did change course to head right through the convoy, but um, there's three destroyers on us. I don't think they're anywhere near us. All right, let's stop. Use the depth charges to. Kind of start moving a little bit. It kind of makes me a little nervous. Where that other, uh, that other destroyer is. I don't think they're sitting right on top of us, but. I mean, if they're launching where they think we are, they're way off. This guy looks like he may have some kind of an idea. But I'm not entirely sure. I've yet to see him actually drop depth charges. Whether or not that's an animation that gets played out in the game or not, that'd be kind of cool, actually. I mean, they're, they are dropping them on me, but... <clears throat> you know? I can't tell if they know where we are or not. They might have an idea. Okay. 
go. This one might be kind of bad. Come up a little bit. Yeah, I know we're getting pinged on sonar. They are dropping depth charges, but they're, once again, not anywhere near me. Stop and sit. What do we have for depth here? 945, so we can't actually go sit on the bottom. Yep, I know. It doesn't look like he's moving uh, very slowly. Stressful. Exciting. He's sitting out there. He's sitting right on top of us. They're moving a little bit. They're in the matches. I don't know we're here. But. All right, now you can stop. Ready to go. He drops step charges. Go. Rudder hard right. I think we just got hit. I missed it because I was uh. Doing time compression there. <clears throat> All right, well, everybody's at the command station here, except for the captain. All right, slow down. Actually, baffles, go. Just go. As fast as you can, buddy. In your underwater... Alright, ready? And... Stop. what he does now. He pinged me. It doesn't mean he knows exactly where I am, though. My 
crew is strained and stressed. I can't imagine why. Oh, he stopped. Listening. We're moving a little bit. I'm thinking the other two destroyers went back. Stop. He's moving pretty quick. He's got a beat on us. If he continues his turn. He's being very patient. I'll give him that. Once he gets to where he's... Okay, go. Off in this direction. It looks like he's taken off. Maybe not. This way. Give him. If he stop, 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 stop. He's pinging, but he's looking in the wrong area. He stopped. This is maddening. If he turns this way, I'm going to book. Oh, it's. Ooh, look at here. Look what we have here. Hello there, friend. Oh, he's right up on the surface, too. Is he keeping an eye out? The scope's up. Yep. Yeah. If he launches his torpedoes. He's moving pretty fast, too, so he's going to draw some attention away from us. Unfortunately, we are... Directly in between him and the the destroyer. Because we're six point five kilometers away from him. We're not. Looks like he's lining up to shoot. This'll be fun to watch. He's gonna shoot or not. 
He might. Try and get that destroyer to come back over this way. Oh, what the hell? You can control this guy? I don't want to control him. I want to control me. No, I want to control me. Me, not him. Really don't want to control the. There we go. Yep, that's our friend up there. Oh, he shot at him. Look at that. Nice, he shot at him. Never seen this before. Oops, hang on. He just shot at the destroyer. That'd be really handy if he, uh, gonna miss like it. I'm a bitch, but. Take some of the uh, attention away from us. That was a horrible shot. Right. Well, we're going to get the hell out of here as long as he's going to distract that destroyer there by shooting at him. That was horrible. All right, well, we are going to use this guy's misfortune for our advantage and get the hell out of here. After the second U-boat launched the torpedoes on the enemy destroyer and drew her attention away from U-48, Captain Krautman gave the order to put the pedal to the metal, so to speak, and get the hell out of the area. Something about standing in three inches of water in a submarine isn't really setting too well with anyone, so we are going to leave the area um, once we get out of the area. I am going to come up to, actually I'm going to come up to Periscope Depth right now. We're far Don't enough away. Get, uh, make sure, yeah, we got someone in, uh, someone on the, uh, Radio. So we got pink sunk, ship spotted, ship spotted, Empire Bison sunk. Uh, we're going to get credit for another ship that we didn't sink. Maybe one of our, uh, one of our missed torpedoes hit another, uh, another U uh, ship. That'd be something. Wouldn't it? Triple kill? An accidental triple kill? But I'm going to go with what I know, which is two ships that were sunk. Uh, there's our buddy, uh, whatever was there. Don't really care. Um, but we've got another convoy down here. We've got that original one up here. And we are only... 1,200 tons away from getting that 10,000 mark. Uh, so once we get uh, completely out of this area, I'm going to pop up to the surface um, and charge off after the convoy to uh, make another strike. Uh, we'll do that in the next episode. Those, This one's uh, starting to get a little long here. Anyway, if you like this episode, hit the like button. If you want to follow along, hit the subscribe Kind of excited for those new updates, uh, see what they bring to us, even if we have to uh, redo Captain Krautman into a different sub, we're going to do that. They uh, added a lot of Mediterranean missions, so I may end this season with a home port shift to the Mediterranean, who knows. If you don't want to miss that, hit the subscribe and the bell so you are notified. Leave your thoughts, tips, and advice in the comments below, and we'll pick this up again in episode number 16, J76NY, saying... Thank you very much for watching and have yourself a very good day.